Hey everyone, Zero Jehud here, here, back with uh, Elite Dangerous. I'm back here to show you how to exit Super Cruise and how to hyperspace jump to a point where you want to go. I noticed that a lot of people are having issues with this, and when I watched, uh, when I redid the tutorials for the game, it's pretty obvious that they did not explain it very well. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go and pick our destination. We're going to look to our left. I'm picking out Kamido. What we want to do is lock and engage. Drive that will actually engage our hyper, uh, hyper, uh, bleh, hyper drive. You'll see right there, the, there's a pulsing blue circle to our lower left. That is actually where our target is. So I want to take that little tiny circle inside the circle and face it. And our engines will engage. All right, and be aware now that when you exit hyperspace, you're gonna want to pull up and slow down because you will slam into a sun. So just pull up, slow down, and you should be fine. So now that we're at our destination, I'm going to pick out a actual station where I wanna go and land. So right now we are actually in Super Cruise. So what I'm doing is I'm going to pick new comb hub. I already have it selected. So as you can see there in our little circle right there, a little tiny ball is out um, below us. What we want to do is to avoid the sun kind of just turn ourselves around and we actually are going to have to go around the sun so what we want to do is we're going to have to go around it and just kind of speed up uh, my ship is equipped for exploration so i have a fuel scoop i will cover that later but for right now we're gonna not hit the sun and uh head on to newcomb hub uh the game of Elite Dangerous is based on our universe. There is gravity and gravity wells. That is what is getting a lot of people. You are getting sucked into a planet's gravity while going as fast as you can during Super Cruise. So what you want to look at is uh, right in the main, uh, right down here. I'm looking right at there, the little blue bar. That is actually your uh, most suggested speed where your ship is most maneuverable. When you get to about maybe 2.50 light seconds from a planet, you want to go just below that so you don't rocket past it. It will slow you down, but it will save you a whole bunch of hassle. So we're going to slowly approach the planet and or station. It might be annoying that you do slow down. It will take longer, but you won't rocket past the where your, your destination. As we get closer, we will speed up a bit just because we get caught in a planet's gravity well. Once again, this is one of the features I do not think that uh, the tutorials covered very well unless you watched the uh, videos. But uh, watching them on the Xbox One is a bit of a pain in the butt. We're getting closer, so I can speed up just a little bit just to cut out some time. But once I get to, there is a little bit of a kind of an indicator that I've started to look for when it happens. But, uh,. Right now we are fine, so we can uh, just keep moving in. Once we get close enough, we will get a message saying safe disengage is ready. And uh, there are two control schemes for me. It is holding the A button. And once we get close enough, I will hold the A button and hit the Super Cruise button. And that will actually drop us out right next to the station. We'll get that in a few seconds now. So we're going to hit A button. Up. And it will drop us out of Super Cruise. And we will drop right on top of the pl uh, right next to the station. And, uh, you can go ahead, dock, get your missions, and move on. No more flying past stuff and dropping short, dropping too far away. Thank you very much for watching. I was your JT with the XBLA Fans channel. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments, and they will be forwarded to me, and I will make some videos as I can. Thank you.